oh, this is rich. This guy goes, if you still live with your parents at 25 years old, you're a failure. Loser. Give me some. Got a little over dramatic there. I'm actually going to save what this guy has to say towards the end of the video because I think he makes a good point. But we're going to get deep here today, okay? I'm wearing a blazer to signify that I'm an adult. High society. <laughs> All right, buckle up. Let's have some fun. Listen, I'm 24 and I still live at home. Like, what? For sure. Are you kidding me? My man and I, we attempted to move out. Yeah, that'll be $1,600 for a studio apartment, not including groceries, not including partying, not including living. Woo! I don't know where that voice came from, but that was probably the devil himself. Because you're out of your mind if you think we're going to pay that to go live in a little box. Get out of here. So now I'm, I'm staying at home. But the problem is, I love my parents. They're amazing, but they still think I'm a kid because I'm here. But babe, does this afro look like it's made for a kid? Currently, I'm 25. <laughs> you gotta admit. God, that's gonna piss me off. You gotta admit though, that afro, legit. I love it, okay? You see this over here? Bolt cut Ricky? <laughs> I used to have it all, baby. So, but this one's kind of like really sets the tone for how people kind of treat others for living at home. Five years old, and I still live with my parents. You know, obviously I still pay for stuff. You know, I pay for my car insurance and cell phone bill, and I buy my own food and all that shit. But it's not the point. You know, I guess I just feel like I should have accomplished more by now. It's so funny that we live in a world where you're supposed to conquer the world by 25. I'm 34. I'm just now really figuring it out. And, and before you ask any questions, I, I wish I had parents to live with. I don't, unfortunately. Anyways, back to this guy. I don't know. I guess it's kind of deterring to, I guess, seek out a relationship with people because when you try and explain you're like oh yeah i still live with my parents you know it doesn't sound like you have your life figured out and you know i know that's a lot of people you know a lot of people live with their parents but it just seems it shouldn't be as degrading or as humiliating as it seems you know i i totally agree with them actually in a lot of cultures it's it's normal it's actually abnormal to move out at like 18 years old. Do you get what I mean? Does anybody understand what I'm saying? I'll keep squeaking all day, baby. Okay? <laughs> all right? Most cultures, it's, it's, not, it's not normal to just pack up and leave at 20. I got it. I got it, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, if you're new here, I like to read some of your comments throughout the video. Keep it light. Keep it loose. Keep it funky. This was from a live stream we did. We do it on Sunday nights. This guy goes, Skate Baker says, I'm just thankful that I don't live with my parents. That shit is embarrassing. Loser. Um, yeah, but you shouldn't feel embarrassed. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going to say it again. I wish I had parents I could live with if I needed to. There you go. Like, turn this into high gear here, okay? Tur crank it up a notch. A lot of people need to understand this. There is no set age that you need to move out of your parents' house. There's no set age that you need to graduate and get that degree from school. There's no set age that you need to start having children. There's no set age that says, by this time, you should have that luxury car that you want. The reason I'm making this whole video is because recently under one of my posts, someone actually tried to criticize me for basically saying like how I still live under my parents' roof at the age of 21. The thing that's more funny about it is that- 21? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna let her finish fact that that's actually something that's completely normal for a person who is a full-time college student it's not even like i'm a whole bum just chilling at my parents crib nothing going on with my life etc i don't know why people feel as though they're so entitled to comment on somebody else's personal experience or personal perspective of their life my thing and point of this post however is that things are just not the same for everybody. Everyone has different milestones. I feel like within this generation, there's kind of this idea that you have to be out of the house at 18 and get a luxury car, get a luxury apartment, you know, be living lavishly when that's just not 
realistic. Should you live with your parents past 22? I'm 20 right now. I'm still living with my parents. Yeah, I think it's totally... <laughs> Yeah, I know. That squeak represents how I feel. It, it, like, for people who don't understand, they, they got to be in another bracket. Like, they, I totally get it. Like, I'm doing great. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing wonderful compared to, like, statistics. But I understand. Like, if I had the opportunity to live with my parents, eh, what I'm trying to say is, is like, I wish I didn't move out of my house at 20 years old. I wish. I, I wish I would have stayed until about 24, 25 and just kept stacking money. But I didn't. It didn't happen. Isn't that right? Huh? You fucked up. Unreal. Bull cut looking ass. See, see, here's the thing, right? Come here. At this point, there is no longer an age limit to staying with parents. Does that make sense? Right. I know before it was like, oh, once we turn like 20 or so, try to move out of your parents' house. The way that life is going, that is quite literally almost impossible. Thank you. Holy shit. I want to break something. I got nothing in reach. I can't break the TV. The TVs. <laughs> point people who claim they don't live with their parents anymore come here they probably have roommates somewhere else right and living with your parents or living with roommates both are pretty uncomfortable the only difference is at least if you live with your parents somebody's gonna say that they love you at the end of the night <laughs> Whoa! i don't even have shoes on fucking loser go live with a family member why don't you idiot he had an awesome point though dude this guy's cool i like this cat well, for most of us. <laughs> All right, we got some more comments here. These ones were good. Uh, statistics for you. This one goes, there is no state where working a 40-hour minimum wage job that could afford you a two-bedroom apartment. <sighs> Take a hit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was stupid. My bad. This guy goes, low stress is the key to a healthy life. Wouldn't you guys agree? Anybody? Huh? I know this guy does. Look at his haircut. I'm gonna, I gotta stop with that joke. I was like, fuck, it's fucking blown out. Um, yeah, and if that requires you to live with your family, <laughs> are you serious? Like, please do it. This one goes, oh, this was so funny. I did, uh, uh, I did an episode on people living in their cars, right? Because um, it's like a new thing. You know, people would rather live in their, their uh, Toyota Tacoma than live at their parents' house. It's classic. This guy goes, the new TV show coming out called Little House on the Chevy. <laughs> oh, shout out to, to Charlotte Quillen. That's, that's awesome. That was fantastic. If you live with your parents, you better be making damn good use of that time. Yeah. It's disrespectful to your parents if you live with them because you want to follow your dreams and then you eat Cheetos and watch Netflix all the time. Yeah. Like that's, you should, I, I, I honestly would feel ashamed, you know. I completely agree with that guy. Okay, that's, I wonder how much that happens. Probably happens all the time. Um, quick side story. It's like, uh, I was helping a friend out for a while, letting him, letting him live with me. And, um, you know, you would think I, I let him come live with me for nothing. 700 a month, South Florida, top down. You would think he would take advantage, right? And this is a grown man, by the way, well, 30, mid thirties. You would think he'd take advantage and save money, get ahead. Nah, are you kidding me? No, he took advantage in the other way. He was like, I don't have to do shit. My bills are nothing. So I feel like a lot of people probably do that at their parents' house, which is, is kind of screwed. Which, which the guy in the very beginning saying you're a failure, we're going to get to that. That's where it all circles together. It's a small world after all. All right. Uh, what's the cutoff age to stop living with your parents? Living with your parents. 25. Really, eh? I think so. No! What's the cutoff age for living with your parents? And I still live with my parents, so I would say 25. I don't know. 25? I'm reaching. God, hey! Let's talk about living at home in your late 20s. That's, the, that's like everybody's kind of ideal age, but it used to be like 21. Think about that. In a time where you could work at the 7-Eleven and afford it. 
I'm not saying like we should all just work at 7-Eleven, but in a perfect world, it would be nice to be able to work at 7-Eleven. Just saying. First of all, the economy sucks and we are in a cost of living crisis, so all judgment needs to exit stage left immediately. But I'm 29 and I live at home with my parents. I've had my own place. I live with friends. I've lived with my partner. But I'm at home because it truly is the best decision for me at this stage in my life. And while I would love my own place and I'm planning on doing that very soon, the reality is that living at home is smart, y'all. Living at home is comforting. Living at home for me right now is a blessing. And I'll continue to do that as long as it serves me. And when you really think about it, we are still toddler adults. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here. And times are different. The market is different. Groceries are different. But somehow salaries are still the same they were 20 years ago. Make it make sense. So I'm taking things one day at a time. And when those things change, so will my address. But for now, here we are. I love what she said. Um, plus, it's funny. It's kind of like, why would I live with my parents? Those fucking losers. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, isn't family the most important thing? You know what I mean? And I, I, I get comments a lot. Like people are like, they say some crazy shit. Like, you're so wise. You're, you're funny. You're a genius. And I'm like, dude, I'm just winging it out here. Okay, like, look at my haircuts. How many times can I make jokes about this photo behind me? I know. Uh, but I'm just making a point. Like, most of us are just winging it, you know? Like, when I meet a dude in a tie and a suit, and he's, like, in his late 20s, which is rarely happens, like, ho homie just probably learned how to tie that tie. I don't even know how to tie a tie. I'm just saying. It's like, most of us are pretending like we know what the fuck's up. And we don't. And it's cool, man. Take a hit. Seriously. This one goes, You are absolutely spot on, Jack. Most people are in total survival mode, stressed out, com stressed out completely, doing things just because of the money. Uh, it is the worst place to be because you end up doing things you don't want to be doing and have no peace. Luxury right now is not having any or many bills, simply living, no debt, and being able to save. Wow. And if that takes you living at your parents, that sure as hell beats this guy. Listen to this one. This one goes, lived in my Toyota Corolla uh, for two years in Portland. Yeah, the Portland Bandit. Riding dirty, my grandpa riding dirty. Yeah. Okay. I'd much rather live with, if you don't want to live with your parents, I'll go live with them. If you're living with and I'm sure we'll get along just fine. <laughs> Anyways. And take this to the cleaners. This guy's cool. Parents, please don't move out. If I could have stayed with my parents until I was 25, I would have stayed. It's actually so expensive to live right now. Like, I wish I could live with them still. 25 is like that magic number. Everybody's got that in their head. But remember, it used to be like 18. Just remember that. Being with your parents, you literally don't have to pay for rent. You don't have to pay for gas. You don't have to pay for nothing. You are literally living like a millionaire right now. You can save all the money that you make. So if you're in high school, dude, just get a job, save all the dough, and get a freaking credit card so that when you need to move out, you're already prepared. It cost me almost two grand a month to live right now. Imagine if I was with my parents, I would have been saving two grand every month. I think a lot of us take it for granted, but if I could be with my parents, I would. If you haven't moved out of your parents' house by 25, you're a failure. <laughs> God, I want to break something. This guy's the best. So, I filmed in this room today. This is kind of like my little sitting room, TV room. But all around me, all these photos, I don't have a childhood home to go to. I wish I did. But all these photos you're seeing here, this is all from my childhood home. So this little room is kind of like this weird homage or this, um, you know, my, uh, my time machine, if you would say. Um, but real quick, before we get into this dude, what he's about to say, I, I forgot to plug this chick's clip in here, but I'm going to plug it in. But she's crying because she gets to go home and live for free in her childhood bedroom. Listen to this shit. Why does no one prepare you for how genuinely fucking crazy living with your parents as an adult will make you feel? Especially when you've already lived on your own for like a significant amount of time and you end up moving back in with your parents. That shit is so fucking on the leg. So I moved back in with my dad because rent free. Yeah, I'm financially stable, but at what fucking cost? It sucks because I feel fucking 
ungrateful. Like, I love my dad. I do. And the fact that I get to live in Orange County, California, which is, like, ridiculously expensive and super close to LA, which is also ridiculously expensive, and I get my own bedroom and bathroom for literally no rent. Right, like, I need to be grateful, but oh my god! I hate it here. I hate I'm living in my fucking childhood bedroom. And mind you, I've been living on my own since I was 18 because I got kicked out, like, less than a month after I turned 18. I feel like a kid again and, like, not in a good way. Yeah, I know. And she's like, I'm an adult. And it's like, look at you. Are you? It's like, there's so many people. Tell me for real. How many of you guys out there, in all reality, have a child at home that you grew up in that you could even go visit, yet alone live there? So t soak that in. For real. Please. I wish. I wish. Anyways, this guy did have a good point, though. Let's uh, hear this dude out. The reason you're a failure isn't because you still live at home. It's because you've never even tried to move out. There's more merit to moving out on your own, messing everything up, and having to move back in with your parents than never having moved out in the first place. If you're still living at your parents' house at 25, you've probably been sitting back hesitating on something for the past two or three years. Oh, once I get X amount in my savings account, then I'll move out. Oh, once I finally have that dream job, then I'll have enough income to go start my own business. Issue with staying at your parents' house is you have no responsibilities, no monthly bills to pay, no commitments, there's no ticking clock at all. You're constantly living in a state of limbo because of how comfortable you are. Oh, dude, I can't wait to start my own business. I can't wait to move to Manhattan and get my dream finance job. You're telling your friends about your goals, but you're doing absolutely nothing to go chase them. Hey, guys, talk is cheap, nothing else is. He had a good point, though. It's like kind of like failure to launch. But the one thing I can say about that I could probably say about 30 things about that, but just the outrageous, um, dare I say, cost of living, that's really the big one. Um, so, but he did have a, a decent point. I, I will give him that. Like, if you are living at your parents' house, you're in your 20s, fuck, even if you're in your 30s, don't just milk it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Milk it for the right reasons. Stack up. Enjoy the time with them. Um, but if you're just sitting there just bumming out, that's on you, boo. Do your thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I kind of get it. Uh, this one goes, <clears throat> I always think about it. I make over a little four, uh, okay, th this dude goes, I, I always think about it. I make a little over 4K a month after taxes, and 2,500 of it is goes to rent and a car note. What if, I, he goes, what if I just live in my car? I'd have so much more it's hilarious. Some people don't even have the option to live with their parents. Or maybe this guy does. And he's just too proud. You know what I mean? Um, so I kind of get that. Uh, but, but think about that. Four grand a month. It ain't cutting it. You only make 4000 a month. <laughs> Did you hear that? Loser. This one goes, money can buy you peace of mind. I say that all the time for people who tell me money can't buy happiness. Yeah, and, you know, we have a stupid saying around here. A man with no bills is a rich man. And that's kind of the same concept of going and living with family members or your parents, whatever. You're saving money, You're peace of mind. It makes life easier. It takes a village, right? Anyone? YMCA? Okay. This one goes, a fam this, one was this one was really good, and I agree with this comment. Jeffrey Allen goes, a member of my family fell on hard times and had to move in with my sister. They would joke about how the garage wasn't being used for anything, and they would turn, uh, turn it into an apartment. Luckily, my sister's husband flips homes for a living and had to know how to turn the garage into a two-bedroom apartment and has everything besides a washer and dryer, cost them around ten grand altogether, um, only charges them 400 a month to live there. Uh, he goes, I could definitely see more people doing this in the future. Wow. Right? And and I agree with that. Like, why not? I'm 34. I've never lived alone once. Besides in my car that one time. That was fun. <laughs> uh, kind of peaceful, I guess. But but that that's that's something I see happening happening a lot more. That camera cut out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to this one. But uh we're gonna end on this note here this one's rich um this is really cool if you have like a great relationship with your parents this lady might seem like she's mad but they're definitely doing a bit here but this one was this this one was funny the dishwasher you are a fucker 
Where are you going with that? It's me time. Fuck you. You live here for free. No one fucking helps me. You took down half that bottle. No, I did not. It spilled. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, Dominic. Seriously, fuck off. Ah. We're trying to watch a movie. I can hear you fucking. Did you just break that? Shouldn't you be cleaning the house or something? Fuck you. I'm taking a break. duck shit on Gordy's pillow. No time you're fucking up. Make your bed, asshole. Everyone just uses me. I do fucking everything. I'm in a fucking rage. The helpless fucking feeling ever. You guys smell like assholes. This isn't gonna fucking unload itself, Dominic. Idiot. <laughs> hey, she said uh, the F word a thousand times, but they were just doing a bit. But that, you know, it's cool though, because I, I, you know, I miss my mom. She's, she passed away. My dad lives in a, a senior center because he has dementia. But we had such a good relationship, man. Like, we really did. Like, we had so much fun. And um, so I think that's awesome, too, especially if you really get along with your parents. Really enjoy that time together because, you know, as you could tell by me, <laughs> they just disappear. You don't know when it's going to happen. Um, Nolly, chill out. This, this one goes, Jack, Jack is the funniest guy on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. Good joke. But this one's about life as being pointless and all that. This person, uh, we're going to end on this note. She goes, I'm 25, so I can kind of relate to this feeling of life being pointless. I would say I am a positive nihilist. If life is pointless, then the best thing you can do is carve out the life you want to live and work, and work towards it and create a meaning in your life. Wow. And if that takes you living with your parents, makes all sense in the world to me. Um... <laughs> People who get depressed about life usually just have a hard time figuring out what hobbies or passions they like, sitting around sulking about society and nobody, and he, anyways, the point is, is like, if, you, if you're living at home with your parents and you're like, I'm a loser, oh my God, poor me, it's like, yo, are you kidding me? F fucking milk it. Do something with it. Enjoy it. God, I'm getting tired of talking about it. And I'm actually sweating because it's very hot in this room. Anyways, you guys leave your thoughts. Hell of a talk. Good time. Uh, shout out to all my Patreon members. Love you guys. Um, Jeez, just solid shit, man. Here's, here's to living with family forever, right? How, how stupid does that sound? <laughs> just kidding. God, good talk.